Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to this rainy day here at the castle in Belgium. Today I'm bringing out my latest addition to my CSGO weapon lineup with the Op Medusa. It's a skin made from the actual game's files and car wrapping material to create a real life Op Medusa. This thing even features a working stat track module which works by tapping a button to register a kill. On the inside is an SG24, so it's not only a good looking sniper rifle, it's also able to reach about 80 to 110 meters depending on the spring installed. Together with my full metal gas powered Desert Eagle Blaze, which completely annihilates players like this, we should have a winning team on our hands. You can check out all the real life skins down below. Our mission is to assault the castle on the opposite side of the field held by the enemy team. To make our way there, our squad's plan is to hammer our way through a cluster of buildings where I will act as the squad's sniper support. But before we get started, let me show you why the game Warface is worth trying out. Warface is a hugely popular tactical first person shooter that's free on PS4, Xbox One, PC and even releasing now on the Nintendo Switch. So Warface is an online multiplayer only game with your competitive PvP modes but it also features a multiplayer co-op where you and your friends are challenged with hard missions to gain some fat loot. It reminds me of the old Call of Duty 4 days, how it looks and feels and just like in COD 4, the famous Ukraine nuclear disaster town of Pripyat is also hugely featured in this game. The game already has over 80 million registered players and with the newly released Titan update on the 18th of February, it adds the fifth class of playable characters. So you can play as a rifleman, sniper, medic, engineer and the new class called SED. All coming with their own skill set and player roles. There's over 300 real existing weapons with all the attachments you can think of customizable by you. I know with my playstyle I'll probably be sticking to the sniper rifles for sure. The game runs on 4K and HDR enabled on the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X. So if you're into the modern first person shooters with the old tactical feel, you should try this one out for free. Sponsors like Warface are hugely appreciated since I'll be able to pay for all the crazy and expensive airsoft guns that you guys want to see. I think you guys will really like Warface, so why not try it out for free with all the links of the different platforms down below. Back to the game, we need to reach a cluster of buildings before the enemy team does to immediately establish control over the middle of the map. <laughs> Some enemy players have snuck into our building, so instead of meeting them head on, we move on to the first floor to surprise them from the back. With everything clear, I break off from my squad, move to the basement of the building and use the basement window to make my way to the castle walls on my own to clear the castle's perimeter for my squad to move in. Thank you. 
Having gained control over the castle, a massive counterattack has been spotted from the north. We need to keep our control over the castle, otherwise we'll probably lose the game. We're being massively overrun and instead of dying and losing all our progress, uh -huh. we move into the nearby woods and wait for reinforcements. Thanks for watching guys, if you're interested in some of these real life CSGO nice. skins you should check out the links below and definitely try out Warface, I love the game and they're the reason I can get to show you guys the coolest airsoft guns. I hope to see you in the next one.